Hello, Philon Rescue. We've just arrived on Mars, where I have a. Well, this is my second generation of Mars colony, if you want to call it that. Just arrived. We've been doing a lot of work. We spent huge money on getting this all established, and I've just popped up here, well, when I say popped up here, <laughs> I've just arrived on Mars to come and check out on my huge investment and get this place running. So we have spent billions and billions getting everything organized. All our equipment is top notch and money is no real issue. We have pretty much a limited, limitless pot of money. Most of it has already been spent in uh, establishing all the buildings, developing all the rockets that get us here, the shuttle that you just saw me land in, and that just to the right here is where our Mars rocket will be landing in a well, relatively near future. Uh, with more supplies and that will supply us on a regular basis and take product back to Earth. As we get up here you can start getting a sense of what we have up here. So we have one really really big biodome that um, we've created almost Earth-like conditions. We have quite a few fields to grow crops in we have many biodomes within this uh, dome that will allow us to raise animals um, and also be a second line of defense should something go wrong with the outer dome. We will be able to retreat into that and survive. Right, so we are basically on two two levels here. The top level that we've just come down from um, has our mining operation on it as well as our our two Earth operations basically our shuttle and our Mars rocket all operate from that level. The bottom level is where all the work gets done. So just driving through fields you can see some fields already ready for harvesting which is where we'll start. The main thing that we need when we are out here is we do need to generate our own electricity. Everything uses electricity and we have electricity plant on there, uh, on, on Mars. Um, and this first little section of the game will be all about getting that production going. So by the end of this episode we want to have our electricity plant up and running with at least one input. There are different ways that it can be made. Just arrived back at my abode and we'll just pop in, go and drop off our bags and then we'll get started. Put the lights on. So we do have living quarters that are in atmospherically controlled conditions as well. Um, adjacent to this, or as part of this complex, we also have our, we have two garages where we can repair vehicles. So we can bring vehicles in and drive in and out of here as we wish. Of course, um, should something happen to the outer dome, we could survive in here, put on our spacesuits and then travel to the other biodomes as and when necessary. But we do not foresee any problems with that. With the outer biodome it is pretty well tested. As I said this is our second generation of, um, of Mars colony. Far more advanced than our first. I mean, just look at my little run around. Isn't it fantastic? Right, so let's go and have a look and see. I think the first thing we need to do is 
we need to we need to generate straw to put into our electricity generation plant because we can use the straw to generate electrical charge so that's going to be our first job we do have quite a few fields oat fields and wheat fields that will generate quite a bit of fuel or oh, not fuel straw of course they'll also tr generate oats and uh, and wheat which we will get which we'll put into our bakery so we'll get that the bakery up and running as well at the same time but my main objective is to get in the short term is to get the electricity generating as quickly as possible and then we also want to get our mining operation going but that's probably going to be in our next episode so for this episode we need to organize all the all the harvesting of the crops which the advanced team have already planted and we have specialized equipment that have been made specially for Mars they operate at much higher speeds and the capacities for carrying goods are vastly expanded and that's just because we we need to have the best up here we need to have we can't be just working with mundane equipment we have to travel so far to get here so we have these fairly compact looking harvesters but they can hold I think 150,000 litres of, uh, of product so basically what we'll be doing with these is we'll be harvesting and then delivering directly because of the speeds that these harvesters can travel at between between jobs up to 50 kilometers an hour we will um, we'll be able to deliver directly to whatever production we want to put the, the harvested product into in this case it will be the bakery to start with I think we also have some canola to harvest so that will go into the oil producing factory so let's get started first thing I can notice is that the advanced team have put the headers on the wrong on the wrong racks this should be for the this is the narrow racks and they should be for the for the corn headers um, not too much of a problem they seem to be working okay so We'll change them around as we go along. There we go. Let's get started. So we'll come back and do the canola field, which is just to the right here. First thing we need to do is get the oats and wheat harvested so that we can get the weight the, the I keep saying the wheat so we can get the straw collected and into the into the power generating plant so we have quite an extensive working crew up here so we will be use, utilizing them um, to do most of the grunt work of course I'll be managing the whole lot and flitting around between all of the guys doing work and getting them started telling them what to do so we've spent um, as I say billions getting the store this all organized we've just recently sent up all this new equipment which totaled about uh, or nearly I'd say nearly about 10 million euros Worth. We're working in Euros because we are working with the European Agency, Space Agency as well. So we are working in Euros just to, um, just because a lot of the funding is coming from there as well. I mean, I have serious money, but I still need to fund things as well. Get investors, get people excited. 
So the nice thing about this is when I'm driving the the harvester, we can harvest at a fairly high speed. But generally, once I put um, a worker on to, and plot a course for them, they'll harvest at more or less normal speed. Slightly faster than that, but. Um, the main thing is that they won't be stopping every every few passes to uh, to look to be unloaded, and of course, when we plot courses from there, they do tend to leave little bits, and we'll be able to do that at fairly high speed. Right, let's get the second one going. So we do have a lot of duplicate equipment. Well, when I say duplicate equipment, we will equipment that um, <laughs> is, is duplicated it just sounds stupid so in other words we'll, we have a lot of so we have two harvesters we have four tractors so we have a lot of equipment that um, it, it sometimes may seem they're not doing anything but when we need to to move on things we need to move quickly and decisively to get things done we have to maintain our, our living conditions as well as our, our um, as well as manufacturing products and starting to make a bit of a profit of sending surplus goods down to earth. I mean the situation we are in 2042 now and um, and the situa situation on Earth is dire. Population explosion. We need to be able to generate food and products elsewhere and get it back down to Earth. As you see, the first worker's already finished there. Let's get him started and we'll pop down to the next oat field, which I think is just behind. Our living quarters down at the bottom here. Yeah, you can just see it to the to the right of the con the Mars Rocket Control Center. We'll go through that as we go through the through the episodes. Start sending the Mars rocket with product back to Earth. So let's get this started. We'll get this onto a worker. Just make sure this is oats. Yes, it is, because obviously we won't be able to. We need to keep the same crop in the in the harvesters, so we we'll need to be mindful of that. We won't be able to just uh, chop and change. Well, we can chop and change. We we'll just have to empty out the harvester before we move on to different fields. But we've still got plenty of capacity in. In this harvester, so let's we'll get it all set up. Give the worker some instructions. It's a fairly big field, so it'll take a little while for them to do it. it. Won't take ages, and off he goes. Looking good. Doing a good job. Yeah, so harvesting at 15, 16 miles an hour, quite happy with that. We'll get the second one going. I think we'll get this one harvesting wheat. Let's bring down the second header. And once we've done the crops that we can generate straw from, we'll do the oil crops and we'll get some oil produced which we can get sent down to to earth. It's probably one of the first products that we send down to earth. We also have a grain mill up here so the oats and the wheat will be put into the grain mill to make flour so we can get a bakery going. We need to feed our staff up here and So as we come down here we will get this field 
of wheat harvested right next to the animal biodomes. There's also two field biodomes and a well there's one field biodome that has potatoes in it at the moment I do believe and we also have a greenhouse at the far biodome which we can and that's all there so that should, should the outer dome be compromised in any way that we will be able to at least grow our own product we have our own animals and we will be able to survive for a fairly long time I would imagine so this is where the speed comes in so when we've finished harvesting a field we can loop around at a reasonable rate to pick up all the little bits and pieces of the field we do like to clear as much as we can so that we don't leave anything on the fields to to rot um, we need to be quite careful with our wastage on the on the field at least within the, the biodome should I say right I think that is all the uh, I think there's another wheat field still at the top there to be done yeah, here we go I think we have another oat field at the bottom there. Was that a wheat field? I can't quite remember. Let's see, so we've got this one done. We've still got a bit of space there. Let's just check to see if there's no little bits and pieces lying around that we need to tidy up. I don't think so. Thing at the top there. No. Oh, there's a bit down at the bottom there. Get that sorted out. Fantastic. Do you think we've still got another field of oats to harvest? I think it's around the corner here. Well, as, you've, as you can see, I've only just arrived up here, so still trying to. I mean, I've seen it on the plans. After all that, my guys did draw up the plans and what have you, so. You know, I've looked at the plans quite often, but sometimes when you get down on the ground, everything just looks a little bit different. So I do find that sometimes I, I do need to just get my map out and uh, look around and see what where I am. The other thing is a lot of these um, productions um, create carbon dioxide which we need to get rid of, so we need to be mindful of that. We do have a lot of oxygen generators that we can um, put the carbon dioxide into and it will neutralize it. So we need to keep on top of that as we go along. It's probably not, not needed in the, in the immediate future, but uh, as we go along. So this is a field that was already planted by the advanced team but it wasn't fertilized. Oh, let's see, there we go. This red thing, so we have our first, and you'll just see it now in the background, our first Mars rocket landing. Right in the background there. Just landed. So we've got some fresh supplies coming in. And we'll just hold it there until we've got some, something to send back to Earth. And that's part of how we get things to Earth, is through the Mars rocket. Let's just see, yeah, so we have a slight problem here. Oh, just walk through the fertilizer. That's not going to do me any good. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be fertilizing it. So it must be because it's... 
well, I'm thinking it's because it's um, been put in by the advanced team. They may have done something that I don't know about. We'll just check that out. This field that we've just harvested, yeah, let's see if we can fertilize that. It's a bit of a problem that we can't, so we won't be able to increase the, the yield of that grass field. And I think this field here we will actually ultimately put to grass as well too, because we've got to get some cattle going and some animals going. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fertilizing, so... So yeah, it must be just because it's um, the advanced. Well, plant the grass was planted by the advanced team. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. Right, let's get that back. And I think that's just about all harvested. We'll just get in and manually clean up the edges up them bits and pieces, use the speed of the harvester. We've got about 46,000 litres of wheat in there. We'll keep our flour mill going for a little while. Just check the other corners, I think they're okay. Right, let's nip one down, get the as I said, because we've got the got reasonable speed in these specialized pieces of equipment, we can just nip on down to wherever the production is and uh, and offload directly from the from the harvesters. I should think it'll work in most productions. There may be one or two where where we won't be able to do it and we'll have to offload into a trailer. The trailers won't be able to move in very much quicker than we are at the moment, so... That's the first one, first lot in. Right, we'll get this started on harvesting the canola, so we can get the, the oil, oil processing factory going. Put that onto a worker as well. Yeah, we have to use workers extensively here yeah, because basically we, of course, we own everything because we built it, and um, so we have a lot of fields that need to be looked after, ploughed, planted, harvested. So we certainly do need to get um, utilize all the work, all the workers, all the all the help we can. We've got that all sorted out and organized. Don't think we need to do any headlands in that because they're pretty straight just up and down. And that's all plotted out for him so all he needs to do is just drive them, drive the machine according to the to the plotting of the, of the map. Right, so this is um, this is oats. We've got a fair amount of oats as well. we'll. Get that into the maybe just check to see whether we need to clean up this field first. It's probably going to need to tidy it up a little bit. Might be some yeah. There's little bits on the corners that need to be sorted out. I think it will only be this little corner on this one. We do need to try, as I said, harvest everything we can just to uh, to get our yields up. Holding my breath to see where it is. Yeah, it looks like we need to do a little bit of tidying up down at the bottom here as well. It's good. Good thing we checked. Fantastic. So I'll 
just take this down to the grain mill and get some oat flour made out of this. And then it shouldn't be too long before we'll have flour being produced and we'll put that into the bakery. It's probably in the next episode. Yeah, so we will be vlogging this whole operation just to uh, for history's sake basically and also for to let people down show people down on earth what we're doing keep them informed let them know that we are trying to um, to create a new habitat or a extended habitat we'll be able to move people up here we'll eventually have hotels and condominiums we'll place those up here as well as we go along we do have adver advertising on the earth asking for people who want to come up here and that's why we need these vlogs to, to show people how safe it is what we can do and of course we'll then be able to send back a lot of the employees that I have up here at the moment and get people to come up and live here and work here there we go it looks like we've able to put lots of stuff in there we've put just around about 50,000 litres of oats and, and wheat in there and that is only barely scratched the surface of what we can store there so we'll get this on too we've got another big field of um, canola just at the back here yep it's through these rocky outcrops get that harvested as well it's a grain dryer we've just driven past there. Built to dry out some corn in there. Not needed right now but it will be eventually. I must uh, at this point just thank my advisors. Farmer Bob in terms of the building of this map of this uh, this colony his vision and expertise has been paramount in getting this operation up and running and then Superfly for his tremendous architectural work on all the buildings that we have making them look good and being fit for purpose up here on our Mars colony. Both these gentlemen have worked tirelessly to get this operation up and running. Alright, so this is a, another specialised piece of kit. A, forage harvester I suppose you can call it with uh, with a windrow attached to it so that we can use it, use the wingspan so to speak of the piece of kit to often pick up two rows of straw at a time it's all about getting the product off the field quickly into the productions, particularly into the productions that produce life-sustaining requirements. So the well, all the productions that produce the carbon monoxide which we can convert put into our oxygen generators to keep those running 
generating the oxygen. Our stores are quite good to start with, but it won't be long before we have to start start filling those generators up. Luckily most of the production units do produce. Well not luckily. They produce carbon monoxide and we have to just make sure that we deal with it. And of course get oxygen. We do have a forest of sorts which we will maintain. We will, build, we will be taking some of the trees down and planting new ones because we can also use wood chips to produce electricity and then we should be able to produce electricity from manure as well. But I think the easiest way for us to produce electricity is going to be from, from straw. The other thing that we do have to produce is we have to produce our own diesel so we have to plant, use some fields to plant crops that are suitable for producing biodiesel. That's soya beans, sunflowers, um, and something else. I can't remember exactly what it was. Soya beans, sunflower, and canola. I suppose we should have put the canola into into uh, no we won't, we won't do it now we'll wait until we get uh, sunflower we'll do sunflower and and soybeans we'll put into we'll check it out we might need all three actually We'll check it out and we produce diesel. Most of our equipment has quite a bit, quite a bit of diesel in. We can, we do have a store of diesel um, in our in our silos at our home base at our, at our home. So I think we've got a bit of diesel in there. And then we we do have the ability to buy diesel. It's just very expensive. So we've got to start producing diesel as quickly as possible. I think I, I think in the initial plans that I've given instruction is that the the canola which we are harvesting at the moment is to go into the oil factory, um, and that may have been a little bit of a mistake, but not to worry, we'll get that sorted out as as we go along. Right, so we just about a full load, and I think we'll pop this on down to the to the electricity generator and get that started. Like we've just about finished that field of uh, harvesting that field of canola. Yeah, sometimes when you make the plans, you've got to stick to that. Um, and also, we won't have uh, sunflower for another month or so. I'm not sure if there's any other canola feels to be... Oops, I th think I've got a bit lost. Yeah, we should have we should have gone back. We turned we turned left, we should have gone right when we came past the field there. Let's turn around, go back that way. Oops, sorry sir. So we do have some really space-age vehicles for the workers and for the population that we have up here at the moment to drive around. We just haven't been able to produce the big farm equipment at the moment um, to generate the right sort of horsepowers and speeds to be able to effectively harvest and move equipment around yet so that's why we're having to use these specialized uh, machines that we that we bring up from Earth. So this is our power generating plant. We just drop it off down here. 
thinking one of the one of our future projects is to get another one of those up and running just depending on how quickly we can get supplies into into it and how quickly it produces electricity because a lot of the advanced productions the speedy productions on um, our production units require the input of electricity so that's full it only takes a hundred thousand liters just pop up here and then we'll just pop into the office which I think is just here and we'll get that activated so you can produce electricity from manure from methane diesel wood chips hay well, the hay we, most of the hay well any excess hay we can produce from but we'll, we'll need to um, put hay into our cows and they would hopefully produce a manure which we can then come and produce electricity from again so we we pretty much have to be and I think we will be pretty much self-sustaining up here and we do have the Mars rocket of course to bring things and take things up and down from Earth so but the problem is things like diesel and that type of stuff that is transported from Earth to here will be very expensive so we'll just put this into, we'll put the any surplus straw we've got into the storage units here. So we have it fairly close and we can keep the electricity factory or the electricity power plant fully stocked and up and running. Got to keep that going all the time. One of our basic operations I would think. I think we will collect some straw and we'll put it into the into the uh, cattle barn. We won't have cattle just yet. We'll be getting it fairly soon. Um, just as soon as we get our grass fields up so that we can make hay. And we've got a silage pit that we've built. But I think if we collect from this field here, straw from here, and we'll put this directly into into the cow barn just to get it going we do have a little bit of excess now and then we've still got a couple of other fields still to collect straw from which we'll put into storage for the for the electricity factory or electricity factory for the power plant <laughs> uh, power station I suppose you could call it so we're just going to have to reverse in there I don't think it'll fill it up but it'll get get it started we do have an automatic automatic feeder on our car barn so but we will have to produce a silage somewhere along the line So this is going into one of the biodomes. So just to the left here we have our cow biodome and across directly in front of us we have a biodome for pigs. Let's try and manoeuvre it in. What a great turning circle. And sheep over there, so we'll be able to do a lot of the animals that we would need to for us to survive to create a create our proteins up here. And of course we'll be exporting back down to earth as well. This whole operation has taken years and years. The Mars rockets took many, many attempts at uh, my um, my 
my space, I suppose, space academy down on Earth, where we built the rockets. We uh, burnt up quite a few while we were testing them. Well, I think that's where we're going to end this episode. In the next episode, we'll just bring in the canola, put it into the oil, the oil factory, and then we'll get starting on mining some more stone so that we can produce stone to make new products. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Feel on risk saying cheerio.